Hello everybody! This is the intro to the intro for the weekly reading vlog. We already know how this goes, but before we swan dive into the chaos that is this week, you know, I have a whole segment on how I make my coffee at home. It's the iced coffee recipe, but we can get more into them if you'd like to in other vlogs. And then I read some books. There are some demonic possessions going on. It was a whole deal. But before we get into the demonic possessions, I do need to thank, you know, the sponsor of today's video, and that is book of the month. So y'all already know, big book of the month fan over yonder. I am indeed a fan of them. I got two books from them this month, both of which I think fall into the spooky category. This one is a thriller. This one is about a guy who works in hell. Both sound fantastic to me. And if you would like to check them out, let me tell you a little bit more about them. So book of the month is a company that works to bring you the latest and greatest books each and every month. They sort through hundreds, thousands, so many freaking books every single month to bring you the top five to seven of which you get to then choose which one you would like to be your book of that month but you can also add on two other books to make your box even bigger even better and they do now start shipping to Canada so if you've ever been interested and you wanted to try them out over there that is an option now I personally highly recommend their thriller selection I have never been let down by a book of the month thriller they've always been either fun or just like like fantastic which I love you know either category of a good thriller so I just I really do recommend them I do recommend checking out their thrillers especially for this month I feel like this the family game is going to be an interesting one I'm very excited to get into it so if you would like to try them out I will leave the link and code down below as always and thank you so much to book of the month for sponsoring today's video and now let's get in to the vlog Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Hey, hello. I hope you can hear me. I hope the car is not too loud because I'm not turning it off. Let's see. Do we need more light up here? That's a huge one. Anyways, hi, welcome to the weekly reading vlog. Let me look into the actual camera. So uh, I'm on my way to therapy and there happens to be a half price on the way and I just have never been one to say no to fate. Um, also, I want to read Babel and I've realized uh, my fairy loot copy is not going to be written in, but I read a few chapters of it and it is so ooh, annotation worthy. Like it really... It's feeding my theory that dark, dark academia, I don't view it as a genre, but what it is, is like modern gothic literature to me. So I just, I think that Babel is gothic literature, but I'm very excited because I love it so much. It, I love writing in books and having... I don't know, thoughts? And I'm very stoked to go get a copy so I can tear it up. And, um, you know, whatever else I happen to see there, they might not even have Babel, so who even knows? But, um, I did just get Fairy Tale by Stephen King from my library. And by just, I mean 10 days ago, but I just realized I have it and I have four days to listen to it. So we'll see if I can do that. But I am also currently reading Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead. I just am like 10% into it. It's a reread. I just want to read the third one so badly. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started, get going. I'm going to press my button, activate seat mode, <laughs> and we're going to get uh, headed towards therapy and towards the gas station so I can get gas so that I can make it anywhere at all and throw away some trash and maybe I'll get another coffee while I'm out because Mondays suck um, and therapy's hard. <laughs> so <laughs> treat yourself. Oh my god, this lighting is awful. And true to fashion, there's someone walking by me and they're trying to make eye contact really hard and I'm not gonna look at her. Anyways, how's it going, guys? I did find some books that I'll show you when Miss Ma'am drives off. Why do people stare so much? Was anyone else raised not to stare? I was raised not to stare. <laughs> Anyways, you know what? I, I can't live my life by Miss Patricia's time. Anyways, I got a copy of 
Babel. So I'm happy to have that. It was the only one that I saw and there was a page bent, but that's okay. I'm already excited because I feel like this is going to be a much easier read because those, that fairy loot and the Illuminate edition, honestly, are just a little too tightly bound. I don't know what it is, but then I also found the Kiss Curse. So I bought that too, because what the heck? So I have that very excited and um yeah i just gotta take these little stickies off and now i'm going to listen to violating community guidelines a new podcast episode for this week um Brittany just mentioned last podcast on the left and i was like girl i'm not saying we'd freaking be best friends in real life but like i'm kind of saying if you also like to bully serial killers and you love harry styles that much i mean uh, kind of soulmates here's this here we go We've done it. We've collected the goods. Now it's now it's time. It's time to go get my mental health together. Oh boy. Hello everybody. I'm home now, so probably should have waited to start this vlog until uh, now o'clock, but we're already here. We've already done it. So I did end up going to Half Price. Like I showed y'all and I got the two books. I think I even showed you that. Look at me being on top of things. Um, but I just got home from therapy and on the way home, I wanted to listen to an audiobook and I didn't know what I wanted to listen to. I should have listened to the one I'm already in the middle of, but I totally blinked. And I picked up Fairy Tale by Stephen King because my mom just started reading it and said that it's absolutely phenomenal. He's like her favorite writer though so I think that she is very picky with his books so it's a good sign so I started it I didn't realize this guy is so so it's 24 hours which isn't long but it's long for basically not an epic fantasy to me because I mean I listen to Brandon Sanders in audiobooks those are like two days long I'm only four percent in and I did that on the way home and I like it I saw this at a half price and I was like oh this cover looks so good with like fall leaves and it's just very fall looking so I wanted to get it to take pictures, but I was like, Olivia, literally just Photoshop your pictures. I don't Photoshop, but do whatever it is I do. It's like the lazy person's version. But uh, yeah, so I started this, got no idea what it's about still. I mean, we're only 4% in, so that's not shocking. But uh, I'll let you know if I continue on with it or if I don't. But I think I might. I have four days left to finish it, so gotta make a decision. And then... I did show you that I picked up the Kiss Curse, and this is the follow-up to the X-Hex, which I read, and I liked the atmosphere and the side characters more than I liked the main couple in the X-Hex, so I'm thinking this will be good. So when I was waiting in the lobby, I did start this, and I read the prologue in chapter one, and so in here we're following the cousin of the main character from the first book, whose name is Gwen, which I like because it's my favorite. Well, is she my favorite? Yeah, she's one of my favorite characters from the Akasoft book, so fan cast. But uh, we're following her, and apparently she's gonna fall in love with Wells. But she is a, it's this small town, it's full of witches. She's a witch. The family's a witch. They own a shop called, what is it called? Something Wicked, which is, oh no. Yes. Yes. Their shop is called Something Wicked, but um, Wells comes to town, opens up his own shop across the street. So I guess they're going to be like enemy shop owners. And I'm not pitching this as enemies to lovers. I don't know if it is. Probably not. Most books aren't. It's a really short one. That's the one thing I did love about the first book. And I'm already liking about this one is it's short, sweet to the point. I feel the same way about movies. Other than Marvel, it's okay if those are long. With most movies, hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes, 45 tops. Books just under 300 pages, phenomenal. Especially for these kind of rom-coms and it's fun. And I'm having a good time. This is very uh, atmospheric and kind of perfect for fall. So that's what I'm hoping for. So since I got tomorrow's video already edited and I'm home from therapy, we're gonna see what we're gonna do for dinner. But I'm just gonna read for the next hour until my partner gets off work. And uh, then we'll decide. I'm gonna try to finesse going out to eat, but we'll see how that works. I'll check in with you guys later. Gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't come Hello, good morning everybody so i just went out and got a pumpkin cream cold brew because i guess i'm back into those again i wasn't for a little bit but then i had one yesterday when my partner and i went and i was like these are good so i got another one of those um wherein 
the boots and it's fall. I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. It was 60, actually, it was 53 degrees when I woke up and I went to feed Annabeth and then it was 60 when I left the house. So like it's rapidly heating up, but so it's global warming and I'm just gonna ignore both. So I am about to, I'm probably going to sit down and catch up on some YouTube. I have like a lot of videos in my watch later and I hate, I hate having a lot of videos in my watch later if I'm honest. I'm waiting for an email that I can put the freaking weekly vlog up and it's taking forever to get that email so I'm kind of getting anxious about that. To ignore that, Finley Donovan knocks him dead. Hello? So I'm like 30% into this. She's making all kinds of noises this morning. 30% into this, absolutely loving it. That's really all I have to say right now. I will I will go give attention to my my child because clearly that is more important. Jake and I just woke up from a nap and look who we find stealing our spot. Will she let me in for sprints? The world may never know. I think she's pouting because I love her. Okay, I'm just gonna do this standing while I wait for Ginger to debate if I'm allowed back into the club. But um, do you, <laughs> this is to like all my chronic illness girlies or people that are just in pain all the time or you know, whatever. But do you ever just, I don't know, just get so tired being tired <laughs> and not feeling good? Is that like, I'm sure, of course. Who would it, right? Let's not be depressing in this vlog, actually. I was gonna come in here and be like, let's talk about it, but actually, I don't wanna talk about it. Do you wanna talk about it? We can talk about it in the comments if you wanna talk about it. We'll talk about it down there. But right now, man, I'm just like, my eyes been twitching lately, and you know that happens if you don't drink water, if you don't sleep well, or because I have like a seizure disorder, I'm kinda like, Hello, what's that? And it's been years, literally, gone wood. But, um, you know, just in case, freaks me out. I think it would freak anyone out, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I was feeling sad. And we're not gonna go into it because we're gonna feel better. And, but I, but I do want to open up the, if you'd like to talk about, not talk about my stuff, <laughs> why would I do that? But if you just want to vent in the comments, girl, we can vent together in the comments, do it. It's an open space for everyone, but what I'm gonna do to try to feel better is I brought in my water, I got my big old Stanley cup, we're gonna look for the driftwood one. I really want that one. Do I need another one? No. Do I want another one? That's a different story. Uh, we're gonna ask Ginger nicely to allow us into her club. I just went to the bedroom and got Kingdom of the Wicked. This is the fairy loot. One is very pretty and I like it very much. Um, I got both audiobooks, Kingdom of the Wicked and Cursed from the library and I know Kingdom of the Feared came out. So we may just listen to this and play a game on our phone. Our phone? Who's us? Not Ginger, she's looking at me mad. I'm gonna listen to this, probably maybe, and also play a game on my phone while I do that because I'm just in the mood to like hear a story. I don't know why. This is a reread for me anyway, so maybe that'll be fun. I don't know, maybe I'll follow along in the book. I don't really know what the plan is, but I do really want to read the newest book and I still need to read the second book. So there's that plan. Um, I did start another one though. I think I've already talked to you guys about starting Kiss the Kiss Curse. I just, I'm not sure which one of these two I'm in the mood for. And then I also have Finlay, of course, and then Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just don't know if I'm in the mood for like YA fantasy or just some romance. I love this small floppy book so much. I wish all romances were this size. I really do. I wish all books were this size. But anyways, I think I might do this. We're about to start sprints, which is why I'm like having this debate of my life of what I want to read. But I have my books. I have my cat. My best friend got one water, backup water, and I ordered Panera delivery because I hate driving. <laughs> I feel like that is everyone. Everyone hates driving, right? Right? But anyways, oh my god, this hair clip. So we're gonna go to a movie tonight. We're gonna go watch See How They Run, and I'm excited to go see that because I really like this new genre of like comedic mysteries coming out. So we're gonna go see that one. I'm excited for the popcorn, obviously, duh. And um, if we have time before the movie, there is a Barnes & Noble right there, so. I might go get Lady, Foul Lady Fortune, I think, because I think that the Barnes & Noble edition is very beautimous. So that's it, that's all I have for you. I don't have anything else really to update, but uh, I'm gonna go get, it's 1.35, so I probably don't have enough time to eat before sprints. I might just get everything set up for them and then the food will hopefully be here in time and, um, 
Yeah, I just got mac and cheese. What is your like comfort food? Because my comfort food is specifically Panera mac and cheese. I don't care how it's made. I know it's not that fabulous, but I love it. I love it so freaking much. I just love mac and cheese so much. So I'm gonna go though, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, so I have decided to pick up Kingdom of the Wicked. I know I just showed it, but that's officially going to be the one because I figured out how to get all of your library books onto your computer. So I really like to have a ASMR room going on in the background, just like the sound of wind and rain and stuff like that. I like to use uh, my laptop and listen to audiobooks either on Audible or Scribd and then have, obviously, the ASMR playing like quieter than the audiobook just in the background so that it feels like I'm it's it adds like an ambiance to the audiobook I don't know I just really like it I tried it one time because my headphones were not noise canceling and it was really loud where I was and it worked like a freaking charm so then I just was like you know what why don't I do this all the time so perfect it's, it only really works if there's not like music going on in the background but if there is like classical music it still works great so yeah, I don't know if that would be something that you'd like to do, but just throwing it out there, it's quite nice. Um, but I figured out if you just type in libbyapp.com, you can sign in using your phone and it signs you into all the library cards that you have and then you can access every hold that you have. And when I tell you this is going to change everything, because <laughs> I love my libraries, I want to use them more than I want to use Scribd or Audible, anything, like any other audio service, I would prefer to use my library just because I like it better. I also, on a very surface level, like the setup of the app better. It's just nicer. I just like it. I like it a lot. I really like Libby. So I was like sad that we couldn't use it on our phones, but you freaking can. So if you just type in LibbyApp.com, there you go. It'll sign you in. You use your phone. It gives you a code. And you enter the code and then bada bing, bada boom. So that is how I am now listening to this guy while doing sprints. And I have like a little rainy day ASMR going on in the background. And it is 346. We're on our second sprint. We're doing 55 minute sprints with five minute breaks because I need to focus today and I'm on page 66 chapter 9 and I am loving this much this just as much as I loved it the first time. So we're following our main character who let me let me check the description real quick because I don't want it to be a spoiler. I don't think it is though. No, it's not. Okay, so it is Amelia is our main character and she has a twin and she and her twin and her family are witches but in this family all of the witchiness is passed down the maternal side but it doesn't like guarantee you're gonna have anything any powers or anything like that um sometimes it skips so like their mom doesn't have any obvious powers but their grandma does and then they do and there's just this ominous air to the city right now their grandma's like please don't go out at night don't be crazy don't do anything ridiculous like just be safe da, 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 da. and they keep mentioning the seven princes of hell and we do encounter one of them uh, and they call them the wicked which I think is cool um, Amelia finds her sister unalived uh, with some random creepy figure uh, taking the heart out of her chest it's very Klaus Michelson and I just got past that so now Amelia is kind of on this rampage to try to figure out what the heck is going on what do I do how can I help? How can I avenge her? You know, all of those kind of things. I feel like a pretty normal thought process after your sister's murdered. And um, I think we're about to get to the part where she accidentally meets a demon. <laughs> So there's that. Um, I'm liking it. Of course, Carrie Maniscalco, I was just saying on Sprints, is one of my favorite authors of all time. Her and Stephanie Garber are my two YA authors that I will auto buy anything that they write. I love it. I think it's beautiful writing. It's so fun. It's very flowery purple prose writing, but y'all already know I love that. I eat it up. I'm eating it up for a second time. And this has me on the track to finish this in like, it depends, maybe right before we go to the movies, but probably a little bit after we get back from the movies. I'll probably have like an hour or two of the audio 
audiobook left, which is perfect because the second one is already on my Libby. I already have that downloaded. So I'll just move right on to the second one and then I can get the third one. And I'm very excited about that. So I'm gonna get back to reading. I just want to talk about this book because I freaking love this book so much. I just love Carrie Mano's Kagako. That's it. That's, that's it. That's the update. doing um do you notice anything <laughs> i did get the monster mash merch in which i wanted to show you the crew neck because that's what i got as well this is this little guy and i think the crew necks are just always my favorite because they're just the most comfortable but i also got a t-shirt just in case it's still kind of warm here when we're doing monster mash that is not well i want to show you something else so i bought these um online and i hate online shopping because you never know you never freaking know. That's true. And it's from uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, who I used to love and hate in middle school. Because when I tell you, they were like, um, we don't have your size. <laughs> Truly. But now, now all of a sudden, they have every size in the world. Let's heal. So I've been buying slowly some things from them. Mainly, they're like comfy clothes are so I got these sweatpants, but what I like about them is they remind me of the early 2000s. With what are those like those those pants that were? Is it gouch gouch pants? Gaucho pants? These aren't real worlds, probably. They have like such a opening at the bottom, and then they're very like wide legged. I don't know. I think they're cute and they're very comfortable, and I like them very much. And so I just wanted to tell you all about them. That's it. Now let's talk about the books that I have read since we last talked. So I did start and finish Finlay Donovan Knocks Him Dead. I did, as I suspected, give it five stars because I'm going into it more with the cozy mystery genre right up here and it fits the bill perfectly. This one, basically it explores the ending of the first book. That's the ending of the first book is kind of the mystery of this one and then there's a little bit more development with a certain organized crime friend of ours and online form portion portion of it, the reveal at the end, I still stand by. I think is so funny. I think it's so good. I think it's a very like cozy mystery ending for that little like storyline. And I, I don't understand how people didn't like it. Like I thought it was so funny. I could totally see it happening. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I really enjoyed this one again, so I'm ready for the third one. But instead, I started Suburban Hell, which was recommended by one of y'all. And it was written on Amazon to be basically my best friend's exorcism meets bad moms. So it's a group of suburban moms. We're specifically following Amy. And Amy, she's got the husband, she's got the 2.5 kids, the white picket fence, the dog, like the whole suburban thing going for her. And she is just kind of navigating being a mom being a wife, looking for a new job. She wants to work in social work. That's what she got her master's in. So she's looking for that. She's kind of just, she's kind of just like living her normal life. And then she has these, I don't know if they're exactly weekly, at least monthly hangouts with all of her friends who happen to live right around there. And they all go over to one house and hang out. And this night they go over and they're hanging out and they're talking and <laughs> the owner, I think it's Liz, gets a she shed. <laughs> and they're all going out to see where that's gonna be built. And then they're talking about how it's gonna be like where they get to hang out when it's built. It's very like, I don't know, it's just very small town in sweet and I kind of like but then ominous thing happens that night like I don't know thunder cracks and flashes and lightning and uh, the wind blows weird and then the next day Miss Amy is going over to Liz's house just to be like hey are you good Liz is not good they are drilling in her backyard and then they apparently hit something that's really deep down I think it's a pipe it smells like rotting flesh and so Amy's like that's for you and I'll keep you in my prayers and books it and then Miss Liz at the old barbecue 
that happens um, comes out looking like a whole different person. Like you know in the 90s movies where the nerd takes off the glasses and she puts her hair down from being in a ponytail all the time and all of a sudden people are like oh my god she's beautiful but she was like obviously pretty anyways the whole time because she's a movie star. It's kind of like that but instead of being a Disney adult and wearing the Mickey ears that's literally what they said in the book that's not from me that's from them and uh, she she's now you know like she's going to a club and it's funny it, it is funny haha -ha. also funny weird but it's not a cozy one it does have kind of a cozy-esque vibe to it but it's definitely got some horror elements because there was already some brutal animal situations going on that you know are being alluded to this is a demon which and yeah that's where I'm at with this one so um, I have that then I'm on um, chapter 3 page 29 of the kiss curse so we've got that going and then I don't know if I updated King of the Wicked before we went to go see the movie I'm on chapter 23 page 178 of King of the Wicked so I definitely think that I could finish this book like not a problem at all so that might that might be the goal for today and then just get a little further into this one and then keep reading suburban hell because i'm really liking that book i just i don't know i have so many books i freaking want to read that i keep getting distracted i'm like hold on rein it in let's like read the books you're actually reading right now hello but yeah i do have sprints at noon and it is i don't have a watch on uh it's a it's a time before that and um we just got well we my partner just got good news for work so we get starbucks to celebrate and i was gonna make it at home don't look at me like um but we also are getting something dropped off this weekend because we're doing like this huge clean out of a bunch of stuff yard stuff moving stuff we still have stuff that we need to like throw away we haven't been able to because you're not allowed to like leave trash on the curb which we were at our old neighborhood so now it's like i like that we're not allowed to because it looks better here there's not trash everywhere but also like it sucks because i have stuff to throw I got a lot of boxes. Oh, also, so I am going to go get this coffee and then I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to build this little cart. So at this table, I was like, I need at this table. This is a chair. Hi, let's talk about home furnishing at this chair. I need something where I can put my laptop on it. So it's stable while I do sprints, because I was realizing when I sprint at my desk, I just don't want to sprint as long as I could because it's not as comfortable so comfy so i got one of those uh it's like a tv tray that you'll use at your couch iconically miss kathy hilton in one of the opening episodes of real houses of beverly hills is either last season or this season but she was eating dinner off tv trays in her like trillion dollar home and if kathy can do it i can do it you know so i bought one of those we're gonna build that hopefully it's tall enough i think it will be because this is like a, on a slope and then also this chair is like average height so it should be fine but i say that so it probably won't be but anyways a pumpkin cream cold brew will fix it right up but uh i'm gonna go grab that i'll take you guys with me i don't think i've taken you to starbucks this week i'm so sorry i'm slacking didn't mean to be but I am. And then we'll come back and build this and I'll show you. And I did get one that has like a little cart underneath it because all these books that I'm showing you, I have them stacked on my windowsill, which I don't, I don't want to keep doing because, um, Jake, I'll show you right now. You see that? Yes. Very attentive boy. Good, good. You know, love that he's defending the land, but he also loves to jump on the windowsills and I don't want him to keep jumping on my books because Miss Finlay, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, she, she got got. So there's that. It should work out. Plus I am trying, like I'm trying to consciously film in here because I did have a couple of y'all that were like, I miss seeing the bookshelves in your clips. And I was like, me too. <laughs> what the heck so thank you for pointing it out that i didn't even realize that i kept filming like not there i hope it's okay in my bedroom where i have that bookshelf because i feel like it's still a bookshelf and they're new ones so you know you don't see all of them oh i do also have to show you the new bookshelf i built because again someone pointed out that i did not show you and i did mean to i just didn't film the clip i don't know maybe in my head i was like oh you know what it is i showed it on sprints i think that's what it is and then i was like yep this counts in my head but then i you know wanted to show it in the vlog so sorry anyways moving right along i'm gonna go get that coffee i'm gonna build this thing call me bob and i'm going to show it to you and we're organized a little cart with all my current reads and to be read reads and uh it'll be great and I'm telling you it'll be great because I know these things. Because where pumpkin is, I am. You know what I mean? So let's go.
Hello guys, happy Friday to you all. Uh, it is right now 2.37 and I'm happy to report, I think I actually got rid of a headache or I stopped a headache from turning into like a full on freaking situation at least because I, so I was supposed to go get my blood drawn this morning. Okay, so we go. We're there. I have to fast. I get hangry and anxious. Uh, my patrons in Sprints the other day, um, I don't know if they coined the term, but I'm gonna credit them as coining the term, but I've always heard hangry, and I don't necessarily get angry, but I get anxious when I'm hungry because blood sugar, and I then take that out in like a little snippy kind of way. I did get anxious because I had to fast for 12 hours before, which isn't that bad because I was asleep for most of them, but I get very shaky. And also if I take my seizure meds, I really need to take them with food, but obviously I had to take them on an empty stomach this morning. So it was just lots going on. So we're there and turns out my doctor did not send my blood work, my lab orders to the uh, lab. So try to get it faxed over. I don't know who still uses faxes in the good year of our Lord 2022, um, but they didn't work. Imagine that. Uh, email, apparently not an option. So I have to go back on Tuesday and get them done. And I have the paperwork now at home with me. So I'll bring it with me. Um, it was like no one's fault that it happened, but I just am so like, I hate blood work so much. Like I just wanted to get it done. You know what I mean? Um, but I did want to show you, I'm wearing my Addie LaRue inspired crew neck from Biblio Styles and it has this on the sleeve and I just, I think it's so cute. I just love it a lot. And then I did read a little bit The Kiss Curse this morning. And the main thing I wanted to update you on is I read so of suburban hell last night so I'm about 50% in I'd say and I am obsessed with it you guys like I am so in love with this book because it is literally desperate housewives there's you know drama with the husbands and the kids and the HOA the HOA and all of those things right but then also their friend is possessed by a demon and they need to get it out and I just I love it it really does truly read like a housewife's version of this is this is how i'd pitch it okay so the housewives and the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires that tight-knit group that reads true crime books and hangs out together and gossips and all that thing if those women had one of their friends get possessed like the main character did in my best friend's exorcism then that would be this book it's so good uh i definitely recommend it it does have humor in it much like finley donovan does and that's who someone recommended it to me based on me liking it's not as uh like all the the time though it's not comedic all the time but there are very it's a very dry sense of humor in it which I really appreciate because that is my sense of humor that gets me into trouble <laughs> so I love a good dry sense of humor and I think that it's just doing it very well also this is my update pillow I'm just holding it and like Never mind, we're not gonna talk about it. Okay, so <laughs> I also ordered three books last night. I know, let's not. We're just gonna talk about what they are. I was on FaceTime with my bestie Lexi for a while last night, and we were just talking about a bunch of stuff, but then we started talking about um, different books, and I was trying to convince her to get on A Curious Beginning because, y'all, can we please? <laughs> I was gonna say flood her comment section. I mean, if we want to, we could. I'm already flooding her text messages with it, but I really genuinely think because she loves pining slow burn and they don't get together until the fifth book. I feel like she would really love that series a lot. Plus it's Victorian, like cozy-esque mysteries. Like it's so good. So I was trying to do that, but then somehow she got me convinced to read If We Were Villains, which I've wanted to read because I do love a good Shakespeare. Uh, the Secret History, I'm surprised at that because no one has ever spoken about The Secret History and made me want to read it more. They've only spoken about it and solidified that I don't want to read about it. But she told me about some thematic elements that are in it and I was like okay I might actually be into that so I ordered that too and then um what's the what's the last one? Oh, these fleeting shadows so I'll we'll unbox them when they get here because two of them are getting here today I think it's the two that I'm most excited about which isn't the secret history but I also kind of just want to read the secret history because I feel like it's kind of a modern classic and I want to have read it because I just feel like so many people have read it so I may just read it in like a weekly vlog this month um it 
it won't be none of these will be for a big old vlog or anything like that but I do think that I'll try to include them in the weekly vlogs because I do have some themed vlogs planned out one of which I am going to be starting next Monday and I'm excited for that and then oh yesterday I did finish Dead Silence and that was the last book I needed for the horror vlog that went up on Sunday so if you want to watch that I will link it and you can do that um, but that was just like the top horror books off of Goodreads I just read the four that I think that I would actually enjoy the most one of them I did also buy The Devil House but I started reading it and I was like this isn't the writing style that I want to get into right now. It was a little too dense for me at the moment, but I still do want to give it a go at some point in my life. So all of that, we got the blood situation handled that's going to be on Tuesday, which is great. Love that I can worry about it longer because I will. And then we went to the Apple store because my partner wanted to grab some headphones because um, we have lost a lone trooper. One of, one of the AirPods has been lost. And I don't know if she'll be found. So a treat yourself moment happened. And I also got this guy for my computer. It's an external hard drive and I'm excited for it because I'm going to store my entire life on it. But I'm going to organize that today as well. So I think I'm going to catch up on some YouTube videos while I do that. But I wanted to take you guys with me to go make my coffee really quick. Because yes, it is 3 p.m. But I desperately need uh, caffeine. I haven't had any today because of the whole fasting thing because I definitely can't have caffeine on an empty stomach. That would go so bad. So I'm going to take you and we're going to make, so I have a couple recipes I do. I do a shake and espresso at home for myself, which I can show you. Let me know if you want me to show you that. I do that too. I have a decaf routine and then I have a big old iced coffee routine, which is I use the 32 ounce mason jars and I fill it up majority of ice because I like my drinks to be like 65% ice and uh, the rest of that percentage be coffee and then oat milk and vanilla and that's kind of what I do but I'll show you all the measurements and like how I do it and all that good stuff uh, with my Nespresso because someone asked and I was like well if you're gonna ask me to talk about coffee I'm gonna freaking talk about coffee so we're gonna go do that for you citizen it's just for you um I think it was an anonymous message but <laughs> just know if you exactly ex yes you're right there with all me. right so we are at the station of love um you'll have to excuse please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, uh -huh. shout out to PEMDOS, never used you, uh, but excuse the, let's turn to it, hello people, come on camera crew, um, that ice maker is making ice and noise, but we love the ice it makes, so we're gonna keep her in work, but so first step, arrive, second step of goods, so I'll walk you through what I've got in here, uh, if I want a shaken espresso that is most like Oh lord, what's it called? Let me see if I can turn this off. I cannot. So if I want to shake an espresso that is the closest I've gotten to Starbucks, I will get these. These are their Starbucks blonde Nespresso pods. You can see they're 40 mils. I use two of these. Shake it up. Espresso. Um, that's not how the espresso is made. That's just how the shake espresso is made. This one though, if I want a sweeter, smoother espresso, not necessarily shaken, but also this works well shaken, I will use this pod from Nespresso. These are Right there pumpkin ones. Really, really good for an iced coffee that's pumpkin-y. Uh, I might make one of these. I'm not really sure. These are what I normally use. These are my favorite pods of all time. It's the caramel cookie. It is the perfect balance of sweetness and coffee flavor, and the caramel's not really that strong, so I really, really like that. And then these pods are what I use. These are double espressos. You can kind of see a difference in the size between these two. Single, double. These are double espressos that are supposed to just be over ice ice and they're made to be put over ice they're stronger because when you put coffee over ice it melts down the ice obviously and the coffee is not as strong um because it's not meant to be it's meant to be hot but if you get these they're meant to be used cold so i think that they make them already more potent basically and these are what i use when i make my partner coffee um in the morning alongside mine but for right now actually i'm gonna put these on my instagram story and i'm gonna let y'all decide my Fate. Did you see the hesitancy? I think I'm just gonna do it normal because I do have the headache I'm trying to fully get rid of. We'll do this in the morning. This is gonna be, this would be the same exact routine as what I'm doing now though. So literally just this for me works for any iced coffee that you want to make. Also, this is exactly how I'll do like a pour over. So if you're like a coffee grounds person, I will do the pour over and then I'll pour that into the thing that makes my coffee ice and tastes good. 
and then I'll put oat milk and then we're good to go. So let's make this one. Okay, so if you've never used an espresso, let me give you a sales pitch, just kidding. Um, it's really easy though. It's kind of just like a Keurig, which is why I liked it because this is a more, the coffee flavor is just stronger with this. I still like a Keurig for like hot chocolate, but I prefer this. We're right by her food station, so she's not happy. But you just drop this little guy in, press it down, that, and then boom, it's ready to go and I need to get a glass. So like I said earlier, I like to use the big mason jars, which doesn't fit on this guy. So I have to take this out, which is cool also. You can move that and I put this in. And I used to put a bunch of brown sugar into this before. I don't think I'm gonna do that this time though. I don't think I'll do that this time. I think I'll just leave it like this and we'll just use vanilla. I love that ginger decided now was a good time to drink. But we'll see if this hack works. Sometimes it doesn't. But I just put that under, start it up, and then the coffee fills up and I go get the vanilla syrup that we're gonna use. Sorry I keep moving y'all. I'm trying to keep you away from the loud as heck ice maker. Now we have our coffee made. Um, this is the syrup that I use. We are gonna finish off this last little bit that I have in this one, um, but I just wanted to show you. This is my favorite. It does matter what you say on the serving size, not because of calories, like whatever, a calorie is a calorie, but it is two tablespoons are what I suggest putting in here, which is what they suggest putting in here. It has the same strength as the Starbucks vanilla syrup if you use the amount that they tell you to. But before I use my syrup, I go diving in my freezer and I get out this hyper chiller. So what you do here is you pour the coffee into this guy and then it will come out of this one whenever you let it in it. So it, so it's kind of hard to explain, but when you unscrew this, there's two things that sits in this and the middle one is full solid ice. The one around it is where the coffee pours into and then this whole thing is iced through. So it effectively cools down your coffee like it would if you put it in the freezer or the fridge, but it does it really, really fast and it doesn't water it down. It is great. It works very well, works very quickly. I really like it a lot and I highly recommend it. So you just pour this guy in there like that. I don't put in my syrup or anything like that until after the coffee is chilled because I've noticed that it's almost like the syrup flavor gets lost in the coffee if I put it in before it's chilled. But if I do it when it's chilled, it's going great. So um, this is not, this little bit is not the whole size that I would do. So I'm just gonna pour all of it in there. Actually, that might be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'll pour that in there and let it wait. And you can kind of hear the ice in this breaking down. I kind of judge it by once that stops doing that as frequently, kind of like with popcorn in the microwave, then I'll pour it into there. But honestly, this, you could literally pour it into here. I could pour it out now and it still wouldn't be warm enough to melt the ice, but I just like my coffee really cold. And then I use this oat milk. This oat milk is gluten-free. Just so y'all know, Partner is gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free. It's great. I really love this oat milk and I, this is my preferred one. Problem is I don't use a specific amount of oat milk though. I pour till the color looks right. <laughs> so I just pour some in there like that much and then I wait until I pour the coffee in and then I just add the coffee and then I add more oat milk as I need it or I leave it alone and don't add anymore. It just kind of depends on how much of a coffee flavor I want that day and how much of a oat milk flavor I want because you, contrary to my belief, have too much oat milk in your coffee and then it doesn't taste very good. It tastes very, hey, I don't really want to say the word nutty on the internet, but it is true. That is what it tastes like. So this is the color we got right now. That's lighter on camera than it is in person, but actually it might be pretty close to what I usually do. So I'll just do like a little bit extra in there. Just give it a little, you know, a little something, something. And then I just got these glass straws from Amazon that I'm in love with. So I stir it and then I take a test. Very good. Then the last step is to go over to the ice maker and I literally fill this all the way up to the brim. Like I'll show you in just a second. There you go. There's the iced coffee. That is why it looks like there's so much in here. Now you've seen like the coffee really only goes up to like here. Then the oat milk is like that and the rest is all coffee. So it's, I mean, ice. Yeah, that's how I make that. Now I have a pumpkin cream cheese muffin from Starbucks that I bought yesterday and totally freaking forgot about. So I think I'm 
I'm gonna pair that with this after I go wash out the hyper chiller and put it back in the freezer. But I hope this was helpful. If you want me to show you how I make my shaken espresso, I can do that. Jacob, I use this. So it's always here and it's always ready. But if you wanna see that, just let me know. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Do you want to be in the vlog? Yes or no? Make your decision fast. <laughs> Okay, hello vlog. So it is Saturday and I am currently doing some productivity sprints with a friend of mine and it's going really well. I've got all these Patreon posts, you know, scheduled to go. I got all the reading sprints scheduled to go this week and next week. I'm doing three reading sprints, which is great. Love that. So much productivity is going to happen. And then, you know, got some sprints with Brie the following week. So there'll be two sprints that week. And then the next one, I don't even know how many sprints there are going to be because there's at least one on Tuesday, then we can wean start. And I'm doing a movie night with Gabby, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> I convinced her to pick Hell House to watch. So it'll be interesting to say the least. And I'll probably end up doing some sprints those days because I am going to be daily vlogging. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to keep active so I can stay awake and keep my eye on the prize. Um, I know that I talked about this at the beginning of the vlog because of the, you know, sponsored portion, but I did just wanna talk about these two books because I kind of want to read them sooner rather than later. And I'm wondering if Sign Here could work as a book with a monster in it for Weekend Ween, because I mean, technically the devil's in it and I know he's an angel, but I think angels can be bad. But this one is about a guy who works in hell and he, I think to get a promotion, has to get one more family member of this like super rich elite family to sell their soul to the devil. So that just sounds good. It kind of in no way plot related, but just in the way that they incorporate hell and the devil, it reminds me of Sabrina, the newest one on Netflix, which I love. I love that Sabrina so much. I have not watched the last season though, so I don't know if I can still say that after I watch that, but for now I still love it. And I kind of want to read this. Then also this one, I love family drama. I do, I do, I do. And this is a rich, eccentric family, a time-honored tradition, a lethal game of survival. Wait, one woman is about to find out if she has what it takes to join her husband's family in a riveting must-read thriller. Is this literally just the book version of Ready or Not? I'm not mad if it is, but it's a little whoop. Blurb right here says the rules. One, listen carefully. I'm already out. Two, do your research. Most of the Facebook parents are out. Three, trust no one. I'm okay there. Four, run for your life. Ugh, I, I wheeze. So I don't think I'd make it. Yeah, she's engaged to this dude and I guess they're gonna play a game. She could die. I kind of want to read this one now, actually, now that I've read the freaking synopsis. Maybe I'll start that one. I am planning to finish Suburban Hell tonight though, or today after I get this thing edited, the video edited for tomorrow, and then the ad read edited for this video. But once I do that, I'm going to keep reading. I'm excited to do that because the book is getting very good. I really like it. It really does just, it's giving me all the spooky adjacent vibes and I love that and it's a good time and it's funny and it's comical and I like also just the like normal day-to-day -day life and drama but then also it's like oh yeah I can't ask my friend to join the PTA thing this month because she's possessed like it's just I'm not kidding that's literally a problem they're having right now I just also I love this shirt I just got it from Abercrombie I like never shopped there but as a kid I wish I had but they weren't really for me, you know? But now they are, and this shirt is so cute. I feel like it's so put together, but I'm like wearing yoga shorts underneath, so it's not really that. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to being productive, back to editing this video so that I can get to reading Suburban Hell, so now I can start reading the family game because that sounds good. So let's go do it. 
been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? We also got these. No, these were from the Target dollar section. And they are cute. And I like them very much. I mainly love these. And I'm just gonna include all kinds of B roll. I think they look beautiful. These are all from Trader Joe's. So are these. Hello, y'all. So it's been a bit of a Sunday. And by sun, I mean my anxiety. So I did get flowers and i'll show you them in a second and then we did go to target too yesterday so i'll show you that the ice maker is ice making so <laughs> you won't be able to not hear it but i'll still show you anyways so this all looks the same i am getting a new milk frother which i will show you guys of course but i got this marble tray because i think it'll be easier to clean and i like the look of it better and then i got this coffee the coffee that i have in it is gonna be the Cafe du Monde French. Well, it's the decaf version of this. Then I have the real stuff up here. But that's in there and it's got this little spoon on the side. And then I have this if I want to make sweet foam on top. Then I have my brown sugar in here. And I just think it looks nicer like that instead of the gold and um, clear, not clear. You know what I'm talking about, the other one I had. And then we got our restock of juice. And I'm excited because I did get these meals and I'm gonna try them out. I don't know if y'all would care, but it'll be next week, so I can tell you if you care. I like meals that are, that are like this, that are prepared, because I would rather eat this than go out to get something. But if I don't have something, I will go out to get something, unfortunately. And then I got some fruit. We have water. And this, which this is what I need. I think it's this one to make my coffee with. So let's make the coffee. Like, but it's hard to see. Hello, um, it is Monday. Here to close out this vlog, start a new one. I did finish Suburban Hell last night. I'm gonna give it a four star. I really, I feel like it's on the mark for a four star, straight up four star. I really liked the fact that throughout this whole book, as these wives are deciding that their friend is possessed and that they need to like, one moment. exercise a freaking demon out of her the husband of the wife amy that we're getting the point of view of never belittles her gaslights her is mean to her in any way uh like the husbands in the seven no the seven what the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires they were awful the husbands in here were either just kind of side characters we didn't really interact with too too much or they were um really supportive well as supportive as you can be when your wife is telling you that the friend that she's had for a couple years is acting different and she's convinced it's because it's a demon not just like a rational thing i really liked it i think it was fun it was a not too serious light read i would definitely recommend it but on that note i'm going to close this out so i can start next week's vlog so the emoji is going to be a devil because suburban hell and Ooh, there's a man right in front of me so i'm gonna put this down so i don't have to see him but thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or night wherever you are i will catch you in the comments down below and in my next video and i'm going to run actually i'm not really that embarrassed because my glasses are off so i can't see him but i see a blur of a human in front of me so that's fun i'm gonna go now like activate spaceship car mode we're leaving we're out of here Side by side, our fears are done. 
Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life 